Hello, this is Edward. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to read notes fast. First, I'm gonna draw the staff. So, a staff consists of five lines and four spaces. Five lines, one, two, three, four, five. Also four spaces. One, two, three, and four. So this will be the treble clef. I will draw the treble clef by circling the second line, coming up and then back down. That's the treble clef. So for the bass clef, I also draw five lines. And here, I have this symbol and two dots. First dot is on the fourth space, the top space, and the second dot is on the third space. So the treble clef is also called the G clef because the swirl is around the second line, which is G, treble clef. This is G. The bass clef is also called the F clef because this line, one, two, three, the fourth line is F. The top dot is G and the bottom dot, that's E. So middle C, that is the note that everyone needs to know, middle C. Then going up from C, we have D. That's on a space. E, F, G. So when the notes ascend stepwise, each step will be line, space, line, space, line, space in this alternating pattern. So going downward from middle C, here we have B, A, G, and F. So an important mnemonic to memorize for the spaces is face. F, A, C, E. Face rhymes with space. So for the bass clef, now everything is shifted down one space. So F is now here. F, now A is the first space. C is on the second space, E is on the third space. So we have phase and then G. So another mnemonic would be all cows eat grass for the base clef spaces. Then for the lines, we have this mnemonic. Every good boy does fine. So looking at the first letters of this phrase, we have E, that is the first line, G, that second line, B is the third line, D is the fourth line, and F is the last line. Everything is shifted down in the bass clef. So now we have a small ledger line, that is E. First line is G, B, D, and F. Now the top line is going to be A. So face and every good boy does fine are the two mnemonics that we need to memorize. The mnemonics will tell you all the notes on the spaces and the lines, but uh, sometimes it may not be so convenient to be counting up the spaces and lines. So let's also learn the landmark system. So 
middle C, that is the note that we must memorize. And we also need to memorize landmarks, and they will be symmetrical about this middle C. Now the first landmark would be G, that's on the second line. And remember, this is called the G clef, the treble clef, and that swirl is around the second line. Then going up, we also have treble C, that's on the third space. Going further up, we have G, that's touching the top line. And then going even further up, we have high C. That is on the second ledger line. So going downward, now on this second to last line, that's F. Then we also have C. That's on the second space. Touching the bottom line is F. Now, if we draw two ledger lines, that will give us the base, low C. So as you can see, the landmark system here, it's symmetrical about the middle C. And in the base clef, we have all C's and F's. So we have C, F, C, F, and C. And this is called the base clef or the F clef. The F clef has an F on the fourth line, between the two dots of the base clef symbol. So in the treble clef, we have C's and G's. The treble clef is also called the G clef. The swirl is circling the second line. So that's where G is. So if we want to figure out a note, say right here, then we can uh, first go to the closest landmark, that would be G, and then a space down, a note down from G would be F. Say if we want to identify the note right here, so that's right above G, so that would be A. And then this line over here, that's right under C, so that would be the note B. So what would be the note on this fourth line? That's right above C, so we know that's D, and then E, F, G. Uh, what's this ledger line above G? That would be A. So that's how we can use the landmark system to identify notes. So here I've written some random notes, and let's go ahead and identify all these notes using face, and every good boy does fine, and also using the landmark system. So if we were to identify this, the landmark system works best. If you know middle C, this is right above middle C, so this is D. That note, okay, treble clef, that's the G clef. Second line is G. Now we can count every good boy, so that's B. Or if we know the landmark G, G, a, B. We count uh, line to space the line. So now it's B. This is the first space, so that's F. If you memorize face, F A C E. F is also right under G. It's right under the second line. This is space three. One, two, three. So that is F A C. That is also the landmark that we need to memorize. C is the third space. The top line, every good boy does fine. So this is F. And it's right under this landmark. G is the landmark we need to memorize. So G and F. That line, every good boy does. D. So if you memorize C, the landmark, then D is right above it. Looking at the base clef now. 
So if you memorize middle C, you go down to the next line, C, B, A. This is A. So this is right under middle C. That's B. See, this top dot is G. This line between the two dots is F. So we must memorize this is F. Right above F is G. If you remember the landmarks, this second space is C. This node right above C is D. And then this is under C, so C, B, A. Two steps below C. Then if we keep going from A down another two steps, two notes, that would be F. So that is also a landmark that we memorize. The note touching the bottom line is F.